So today we are going to talk about industry CPQ card layout uh, from winter 22 and later um, Salesforce industry has introduced new way of displaying the card using LWC card layout that's based out of uh, flex card so we are going to see in our video that how those LWC card look like and on which we can do the changes on LWC card which flex card is there and uh, uh, which one is to choose angular card or uh, lwc card so this is what um, the standard angular card look like um, in our uh, standard application if you use the sales application configure we are going to see that thing and that how the lwc card look like how we are going to find the industry cpq card and how does it look like there are different way they have introduced catalog card solution details and everything and then there's a persistent card thing we can do the catalog based search so they are more really uh, aligned with the catalog uh, based solution for uh, for their client so let's go to our application and uh, see the how both angular card and uh, lwc card look like so i went to sales application the creation of the order will be same we are going to create one new order we will save it it will go to standard order screen where we will click on this action click on configure this will open up the angular cart it is getting displayed so angular card has having standard view of displaying the product promotion discounts qualified and disqualified and then to display those products first you need to select the price list so we are selecting the price list you can search the product from here and then you can select this product in your cart now you can do the configuration using this configuration button the product attribute can be selected here you can submit order your total has been displayed so everything is on the angular base card you can change your one-time charge from here percentage or amount whatever you wanted to do now we will see how the lwc card will look like so for that we will go to our sales application we'll click on launchers we'll do cpq this will display industry CPQ. Now, as they have done this catalog based approach, so what I have done, I have created one demo catalog for everyone. So I will display this demo catalog to you guys. This is my demo catalog which I have created. If you go to the related, there is a standard product which I have added. Now we will see this demo catalog will be displayed in our order. So we will go to again order from here. We will click on new. The creation of the new order is again the same way, same account. Order start date will be today's date. And once you will click on the save, this will go to our new flex card. Flex card. So if you see right now, the initial state of the card, flex card is uh, empty. There is no data is coming. So it's getting displays as an empty. If you see there is no price list has been selected. So now if you click on add product, first we need to select the price list. So we'll select the B2B price list from here. Price list has been updated. Now, as soon as price this will be updated this will be updated here and you will see the all products are getting displayed here you will set the category from here it will give you the your catalog category if i click on the demo catalog this is going to display me the product against this catalog this is i can select this product and i can do the add to cart and this will be adding my cart you see right now it will be added here 
so the product has been added here now again you can adjust the price you can click on that just price one time recurring everything you can do the pricing here you can configure your attributes of this product you can do the catalog search from here you can just like search demo it is going to search your name in the product and promotion in both of the things you can apply discount from here whatever you can create a custom discount and then you can go this is the catalog screen you can see your catalog here again you can see the demo catalog consists of the one product you can see the description one time you can add card you can configure from here if you click on the preview card button this will give to give display what are the there in the card this is the way this is down here you can see this is the persistent card feature which they have come out which we have seen previously in the omni script and then there is a layout of option you can do click on this list or you can do like this so this is the way you can see your product here so these are the different things which we have they have done in the in their flex card there's a new way of intuitive way of displaying the data using the flex card now which flex card is being used here so this is the flex card uh, cpq card flex table which is the parent component for all industry cpq card components so we need to check out in our next video for this flex card name now normally the question is coming now which one to use uh, flex card based uh, ui card or the angular one so if your project is new uh, i would suggest use lwc card it's a good way you have a lot of control on the ui you have a lot of control to calling um, data things and you can display your way of uh, displaying the data as per your client requirement yeah if you are uh, wanted to migrate from angular to lwc you cannot do because both are having different style different architectural style one is based out of angular one is based out of lwc one is use velocity card and one is using l um, your flex card so you cannot do that uh, migration you need to do manually customization from your existing application to lwc application so yeah it's up to you which one you wanted to choose but yeah Thank you.